How's it going, everybody? I'm Jack McAdoo. I hope this day finds you doing well. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I see when I speak, what I hear and read as far as comments go after I do a show, or when I just go and see someone else speak. Everyone seems to be looking for that magic pill right now. They know that they need a change in their life. Something has sparked it. Uh, a conversation with somebody, something they saw on TV, something with family, friends, spouse, whatever. Something has sparked this change. Or they feel something inside. They hear that little voice inside their head saying, we need to change. You know, you want to fix something. That you're not living your dream. You're unfulfilled. Something isn't right. And they go to watch me speak or someone else speak or they listen to the show as I try to uplift everyone and they're looking for this magic pill, something that's gonna happen overnight. There isn't a magic pill, none. It does not exist, it takes work. And what you have to understand is that there's some science involved with this. You need to go within. You need to decide once and for all that you're gonna go and live your dream. You're gonna go attain everything that you've wanted to attain since you were little. But life changed all that. The rules of life changed all that. The things that we learned from infancy till the time we were 35, things changed that. It developed our personality, our mood swings, everything. It defined who we became and who we are. And the change, it takes work. It's tough and it takes work and it takes practice. So people are in the audience and they're, help me, help me. Well, I can give you some advice and there's some other people that can give you some advice and it's good, strong advice, but you have to do it and you really, really want to know that change can hurt. Change can just alter everything for you, but on the other side of change is growth. It happened for me. What you need to do, one of the very first things you're gonna need to do and, and really pay attention and if you wanna be serious then you have to really pay attention. You need to do a vision board, first of all. Write down your dreams. Write them down. In Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill interviewed several of the top wealthiest people in the world. And the one common theme that they had was they wrote everything down. They saw it every day. They read it every day. It's part of the law. They wrote it down. They visualized it by closing their eyes. They saw themselves in it. And that's what we have to do. That's what you need to do. You cannot live in a world of lack, in an environment of lack, and expect to be rich. You cannot be in a relationship with your family, friends, spouse, boyfriend, girl, and, and fear lack or want this or want that. You have to feel abundant. You have to feel the love. You have to know that it's there. You have to live in wealth. You have to know that wealth is coming. Financially, whatever it is, it's not magic. It's not going to fall out of the sky. It takes work. These are things that you were programmed with. These thoughts and everything else of lack need to be worked on. And the way you work on it is, yes, you write it down. You create a vision board. Throughout the day, you close your eyes in silence or whatever, wherever you're at, lunch, it doesn't matter, and visualize these things and feel these things and know what it's like to have them to where your subconscious mind is shifting. Oh, that's what that feels like. But when you do that, don't go back to, oh, I don't have this, it didn't work. It takes time. It took how many ever years it took for you to be who you are today to get fixed. It's not gonna take 35, 50 years, but it could take a month, it could take several weeks, it could take another year. The thing is you have to work on it. And once you know that you know that you know what you want, then you do need to meditate. Your body has energy, an energy field around it, it's science. Anywhere from six to eight feet is your thoughts. If you're feeling down, your vibration is low. If you're feeling up, it's high. So you wanna try and keep it high no matter what's going on. And you need to meditate. You need to go within. You need to shut it down, shut your phone, quit answering your emails, quit answering the phone. Stop, find time for yourself. You know, that's the hardest thing to do with change is to find time for yourself because you're worried about everybody else. What's going on on Messenger? What's going on in my email? I have to go see this family member. I have to go see this friend. You need to invest in yourself first and foremost or it's not going to work. But you find that time and you go within and you just breathe and you listen and focus on your breath. Things will come in and out, noises, distractions, but you have to stay focused. 
and then you want to get into that theta state, that delta state, to where your frontal lobe and your rear, the rear of your brain, the right and left side, are coming together. You're losing yourself. You're not becoming someone. You're doing these things to open up your mind and to bring these energies and these thoughts to life, to manifest. So you're losing yourself to become someone. And that's what you're doing. And it takes time. It takes practice. Give it every single day. Work at it. If this is something that you want, you need to work at it. It's not magic. It's not the pill. The pill is you. The pill is working at the life that you want. And there are laws, laws of attractions that work. It's not something that's just out there. You have to want it. You have to believe it. That little voice that you're hearing, that's what it is. It's saying we can do this. Some people go to these meetings and these speeches or listen to my show and other people's shows. And again, they want this. They want that pill. Some of them are at the beginning of their journey. Some of them are halfway there, but they're stumbling a little bit and they need some help. This is my advice to you. This is what I do. I've been there. For me, it's been a journey and I've gotten away from the journey, but then just a few weeks ago, something triggered it that put me back on course and it's working and it needs to work for you. I got tired of hearing everybody's stuff, dress this way, do that, do this, eat this, eat that. No, it's about me. I'm happy with me. There's things that I want in my life that I need to attain and I'm shifting it and things are amazing. And I want that for you. That's why I do what I do. That's my purpose, to share what works for me with you. And I just want to see each and every one of you joyful and successful. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you real quick. I'm Jack McAdoo. You guys take care. Peace and aloha, everybody.